Okay, uh, welcome back to Paul's Garage. Uh, it's Monday, June the 10th, 2019. Day four of the MG Midget Paint job. So the car is finally all in color. Three coats of the color and then four coats of this pretty amazing clear. It just, the car just looks so clear and wet, it's unbelievable. Uh, everything's reflecting off it. You can see everything hanging from my ceiling and you see the kayak? <laughs> my kayak hanging. Uh, it's, you can see me in the door. There, I, this is, no, this is not the door, the thing, that's me. And the side fender. Uh, going down the car, it's just, it just came so clear and clean. Every, it's hard to see it really good here. So it looks hard in the video, but. Yeah, the video doesn't do it justice. Yeah, it came pretty good. Uh, <laughs> it was not fun and not easy. Shooting clear um, is extremely difficult and painful. Uh, it just gets everywhere. Um, so you can see my stripes I talked about. The light blue stripe in there. My ghost stripe came good. Everything is pretty good. Uh, I'm super happy with it. I really appreciate my brother taking time out of his schedule to come and help me. Uh, if he wasn't here, I don't. I, it'd take me more than a week. It was just. I'm not sure if we did it <laughs> the easiest way. But we did it the way we thought to do it. I don't know. Who knows? So the car is a blue. It's called uh, Still Night. Still Night. It's a Honda color. I think I told you before. It it was my Triumph color that I had him scan, and uh, it looks almost identical for my Triumph. So when I get, I can't wait to get this outside in the sun. You can't really see the flake in it, but it's got. Yeah, you can't see the pearl. Yeah. But it has a lot of pearl in it, and uh, it looks <laughs> pretty nice. So, again, look at how clear the doors are. I hate to want to... <laughs> I hate to want to have to buff it, sand and buff it, because it just came... It looks so good. So, I'm sure I'm going to, because there's a couple little bitty... There's my kayak right there, hanging from the ceiling right up there. So... <laughs> So what you're seeing in there just reflections everything. So, uh, like I said, I want to thank the people on the MG Experience Forum for all their help and support and tips and ideas. Um, great bunch of guys. If you ever want to know anything about MG Midgets or any MG product, go to that forum. They'll help you out. Uh, uh, gosh, I just can't wait till this is all dried and then I can get all this tape off. Everything's, you know, taped here and there. But, uh, yeah, it, believe it or not, uh, we went through one whole gallon of color and, you know, just about ran out. And almost one whole gallon of clear. So there's a ton of color and clear on the car. It's just... I don't know. Just keep going and going. And yeah, you thought you were going to have leftovers. I thought I was going to have leftovers. And I'm like, who, who wants? Who needs a gallon? But uh, uh, like I said, it, it, it's hard to. Everything's just reflecting and shining off the car. Um, a couple little something in the paint right there above that, behind that door. But again, really happy with how it came out. Um, yeah. I'll take a walk and show you the colors, the products we used. Uh, everything was shop line. So the color was shop line. It's a JBP number one product, whatever that means. There's the color and the code and everything like that. Here's the custom clear, uh, Ditzler custom clear. I mean, I put it on heavy and. Uh, I have like maybe one little area where it's got a small spot of a run. So basically I ran all shop line parts and I told you I was running a DeVilbus finish line gun. Had a little spill of clear right there you can see. Uh, so, <laughs> so, so yeah, if you don't, if you don't have protection, I mean, we ran, we had suits and we had 
respirators and goggles. It just it is so nasty. Just with those two, I have two fans running. I mean, you can see the fans are blue and clear. It's just so dusty in here. If I were to, I learned a lot. If I were to do this again, you know, you got it can't. I wouldn't do this plastic. I mean, it worked, but I would probably go with some kind of rigid walls, maybe a foam wall of some sort you could do and make a man door in here instead of having to lift this plastic up every time to climb underneath it, frame out a little door, man door to get out because last night was a disaster um, because what happened was right at, we worked into the 10 o'clock at night and got the coat of clear on all the on the floors and the bottoms and we come and look and the bugs are starting to come into here because it was dark and and they were landing on the clear and luckily it was the underside of everything and and uh, a lot of them came out so it's not bad right now like I said <laughs> this is all good um all right thanks again for watching I, I really appreciate it and uh, if anybody has any questions you can ask me and comment and don't forget to subscribe Tell people, all your friends, <laughs> subscribe, and uh, thanks for watching all my videos on the MG Midget Project. And again, thanks to my brother Dave. Dave, say hi. Hey. <laughs> hi, everybody. Yeah, you have a good time? Oh, it's great. Yeah, oh yeah. I'm about to shoot myself, but <laughs> no, hey, I'm, I'm just kidding. Yeah, but it's all done. It, 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 was, it was long and hard, but it was good. All right. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye.